a unique form of art right here. Check out this video. This is from China. Folks from around the world competing to carve masterpieces out of blocks of ice at an international ice festival. Huh? Now, if you want to see something like that in person, you can without having to travel all the way to China. Yeah, it's really cool. Just head to Easton for the Chesapeake <laughs> Fire and Ice Festival. Delmarva Life's Katie Cirilli has the details. Easton is going to get busy this weekend. The inaugural Chesapeake Fire and Ice Festival kicks off on Friday. It's going to be about 25 to 30 ice sculptures spread out throughout Easton's downtown, all totally walkable in the commercial district here. Uh, we'll have live ice carvings at our kickoff party on Friday evening, that's on Valentine's Day. Um, they'll be carving our large 3,000 pound featured sculpture um, right here in Thompson Park. Uh, we'll also have live music that night as well as fire performers in the streets, so right on Washington Street. Um, we've got downtown ice skating Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Kids Carnival, a family fun center over at the Waterfowl Building, and a stews and brews event over at the fire department on Saturday. An event this town's never seen before. One that was created first as a way to bring out young families during the long winter months. It's something different. It's during a time when usually there's not a lot going on. People are starting to get a bit stir crazy, you know, in the wintertime. Um, and so they're very excited. The people we're talking to are excited. Uh, we see them you know, reading the flyers in the windows of the businesses and getting information from them. Second, it'll bring people inside those local businesses, many of which have deep roots in town. We still have the pharmacy that's been here 92 years and the jewelry that's been here 91 years. And so we want to support those businesses and make sure they still feel like they're being supported and they still have customers coming in all year round. Ross Benincasa is the executive director of Discover Easton. He's expecting between six and 10,000 people to come out over the course of the three days, locals and folks from away. And if this festival grows to become anything like the one in Lidditz, Pennsylvania, it's modeled after, hold on to your hats. They see 70,000 people every year at theirs. And very similar town to Easton. So uh, we had looked at this as being something that could probably bring a lot of people in and it's just really unique for the area. Unique and perhaps magical in some ways. I mean, it really is neat to see them take this true block of ice to be this really detail oriented, you know, waterfowl or, or animal or whatever it is that they're making. Um, and so I think that is really neat. I think being able to see the process too, to go from that block of ice and see those live carvings is really neat for people. Um, and I don't know, I think there's something about it. It's a nice, it's, it's appealing to everyone from you know, six to 60. It's, it's just, a, it's something that really brings people together. Cool stuff, right? Maybe I should say hot stuff. Anyway, for more information, you know what to do. Visit DelmarvaLife.com. Jimmy, Lisa? She hot? Is she cold? Sounds like a song. She's got a whole paradox going on. <laughs> Ross says he hopes to make this an annual event. And again, for all the details, all you have to do is hit DelmarvaLife.com.